Okay, I have to hurry up because I'm gonna pick my boyfriend up from the bus station. Finally, I can see him again. Oh my god, I need my keys. Jesus, go, 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 go. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I cleaned my room for the first time in a very long time and it looks so neat right now. And yeah, I'm gonna miss my room. So I cleaned my room and packed all the things that my parents are gonna bring me next weekend. And it's the last time I will be in my room. I mean, I'll come back like first week of October, but that's still three weeks away. In the meantime, I'm gonna yeah, say goodbye. I'm gonna miss this room. I'm gonna love my new one, but I'm gonna miss this one too. So yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye to my cat. Hi, I'm gonna miss you, sweetie. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you. I mean, he's my cat, but I can't take you with me, no. Brussels is way too crowded for a little... You're a very scared little kitten, huh? No, but Brussels is way too busy with like all the traffic and so he can't go outside and You're not even allowed in the building, huh? No! But yeah, I'm gonna miss this crazy, crazy cow. Bye, room. I'm gonna miss you. So this is the last stuff my parents are going to bring me uh, next weekend and my old mirror that I haven't used in a while but I can use it and my guitar because I can't take it with me on the train. Made it to my room in Brussels and it's so warm. Um, I think I'm gonna grab something to drink and maybe lunch because it's already 3.15. Maybe I meet some people in the kitchen, I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. And I felt so shitty this morning. <laughs> I mean, I probably have catched like a cold from my boyfriend because he was very sick for weeks. Um, and my mom had also a cold. And last night I was snoring super hard and my ears are 
blocked and my voice hurts and my cough hurts, everything hurts. Hi, it's me, voiceover Elena. Welcome to this three and a half minute segment of where I'm sick and feel like absolute shit. I hope you enjoy looking at me while I'm sick in bed and my face keeps zoning out like I'm a freaking zombie, but I'm still being open and vulnerable with you guys and almost giving death threats to my boyfriend whilst I can hardly even breathe. Enjoy. Mm, this is like fucking great. They hear that noise. It's seven o'clock in the morning. And there's no way I can drown the noise out. My windows are closed. I use earplugs and I still hear the fucking construction workers outside at seven. It's so goddamn loud. And I feel so fucking shitty. <coughs> if this is going on for like an entire year, I'm done already. Like, I don't want to live here. <laughs> My home sound is super quiet. Um, This noise, god damn it. I'm trying to be cool and not really pissed and I'm trying to be okay with it, but it's really hard. But <coughs> when I feel like this. Five minutes later. And I think they may be done now, but I'm too scared to say it because what if they're gonna start doing it again in 30 minutes? I don't know. <coughs> Brother, yeah, I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You gave me this call. Anyway, I'm probably gonna do some yoga stretches if I can breathe. And take a nice warm shower and figure out what I'm gonna do with my room <laughs> because it's really empty um, this little blanket that I just put on the floor like it's a carpet because <laughs> otherwise it's so boring and my backpack over there but this entire wall was empty I just want to be in bed all day <laughs> anyway, my first night in my room was pretty cool. Without the construction workers, I am feeling pretty cool about this room. <laughs> I mean, I do feel lonely as hell, but it's because I don't really know people. And when I'm in groups, I find it really hard to talk. But yesterday, I went upstairs to see if I can meet some people, and there was this group. I just listen and say nothing, but it's cool. I mean, it is with my old friends, and look at me now. They're the best friends I've ever had, so I can, I can do it again and get the best Brussels friends I ever had. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because I can hear my voice getting worse and worse. So, uh, bye. Three hours later. Yeah, so this morning I felt really bad and once I actually took a shower and ate apple pie that I still had left from this weekend, I actually felt really better. Um, I was supposed to meet up with someone that I met in the elevator last week but he decided that he was going on a bike ride with his friends and I don't have a bike so I can't come uh, so I wanted to stay in bed because uh, I don't have a chair not because I feel sad but because I don't have a chair and just watch Netflix all the time but I decided that's not really gonna do me anything and I want to get out so I went up to the kitchen and I 
and now I have a roommate who wants to go out with me. So yeah, that's cool. So that's what I'm gonna do now because I'm maybe he's waiting for me. I don't know. Okay, so bye bye. Today is a new day and I'm really excited. I am going with a hallmate of mine. Her name, I'm not gonna say because I don't know if she likes it. <laughs> but I'm really excited because, um, yeah, it's only the third or second day that I'm here and I'm already having something to do, which is cool. I am actually really terrified. I am bringing my film stuff with me because I want to vlog or film or whatever. But the reason I did not do it yesterday is because I'm actually really terrified of what people think of it. And I'm really terrified they're gonna laugh at me and they're gonna like talk crap and shit about it. But I'm gonna try and get myself over it because I like doing it and yeah, I should stop thinking about what other people think. And I've, I've heard this quote in the movie and it was like, you only need 20 seconds of insane courage. And that's what I've been trying to do for the past three days I'm here, which got me to do really fun stuff actually. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go because I have to meet her downstairs in a few minutes. We found the Atomium and now we're gonna... I don't think we can go inside, it was closed, right? Yeah, yeah. But we found it and we're gonna take a peek. Lighting in this room is really bad. <clears throat> okay, it's better. So I don't know how, but it was upstairs where we have like a little lounge, and I um, was talking to two other people living in the building who are really nice. And someone came up and he kind of invited us to go out for drinks, and I don't know why, but now I'm going out for drinks. I'm not gonna film. I'm not gonna tell them about my film. My my god, this lighting is really bad. But I'm gonna go ahead for drinks. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna tell them about this channel or that I film in general because I'm really fucking terrified. They're gonna laugh at me and be mean, which they probably won't, but it's my insecurity. I mean, they'll stumble across this channel sometime in the future, and that's okay. I'm still really insecure about everything that I'm doing. But I'm living a happy life, and I also don't give a fuck about other people, which is funny because I'm also very insecure. But it doesn't matter, I'm going out for drinks and I don't want to be the last one again. And with that being said, and the very bad lighting, I'm signing off. Bye bye!